Double Goblin Guide. That's all I've wanted all night. I think with this hand I can afford to pay the life too. Probably want white with this hand. It's close. Don't be a lightning bolt deck. Oh wait, every single deck in this format's a lightning bolt deck. Oh wow, he's not a lightning bolt deck. Wait, he's a lightning bolt deck. Interesting. Yeah, whatever. I will gladly trade Goblin Guide for Wild Nacoddle. Man, he's drawn so many extra cards this game. And none of them do things. Better trade, buddy. <laughs> I don't know if you know how this works, but... Okay. So ideally I draw land next turn and he goes to actually just dead. When I searing blaze. Though I guess you could fetch a white source, which is a bit of a problem. He's probably gonna fetch. Eh, he could fetch a. He's got like double curd ape then. Yeah, that was clear. So I have 312. Well, see if my one lander races. <laughs> it's pretty close, which is kind of pathetic. Or the reverse of pathetic, because that's kind of how one landers work, I guess. Oh, dead. Just beyond dead. Interesting. Not really sure why he would opt to not attack there. Um, kind of confused about that. I guess the two damage kind of matters. This card is problematic. Um, gains him three life. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five,
One, two, three, four, nine. I do not want to redirect. Uh, I'm just going to concede. Fell too far behind when the Ajani hit. I think I needed to draw a basic... Oh, that doesn't even work, because I have to Searing Blaze the Curt Ape if I have a basic mountain. If I fetch, I'm exactly dead to the four from the Goyf, two from the Curt Ape, and... Uh, the other damage from the Ajani. Don't think I want Geist here. Don't think I want this card either. Or in the, that same number. I think Treasure Cruise is pretty good. Eidolon's pretty good. Skullcrack does enough work that it stays. Goblin Guide's pretty bad. Maybe I do want Geist. So the only issue with Geist is that if he has a Goyf, I can't really kill it with damage. I think on the play, I want Guide. And on the draw, I want Geist because I can't like, the key interaction is that if he goes Kurt Ape on one, I can't guide into Ape um, and attack. Whereas if I'm on the play, I get to, like, attack with guide on tap, Searing Blaze, or something like that. This is really good. Gonna fetch a white. Gonna fetch a blue with the other one, but it doesn't really matter. If he plays a tap land, he's in big trouble because of the Eidolon. That's actually like a pretty cool punishing interaction. I think I want to jam idle on here. Uh, that is a little risky. Maybe I just Searing Blaze. Uh, I do have Treasure Cruise. So I'm kind of favored going a bit later. Goyf is currently a nothing. I think I'll idle on on the basis that Goyf doesn't actually stop it from attacking next turn. Or live through Searing Blaze, for that matter. Assuming I draw a land, which is kind of a big assumption. Yeah, that's like every matchup. It's probably just tonight, like where I've wanted Searing Blaze every matchup. Possibly even Searing Blood. Sweet. Yeah, sure. Ugh. Well, I'll deal four damage to him this turn, except an Akadala hit here, I think. A lot of that's also because of mana efficiency, too, in terms of what I want to do. I think I'd be way better off if I had Blazing Akadala here. 
Maybe not way, I guess. Segoyf. Uh, so I just need to draw land next turn to be in it. Treasure Cruise is quite bad in this matchup. Seems very slow. Should probably board one out. Yeah, Geist is definitely too slow, too. Mutagenic doesn't do anything. This deck is not suited, as is, to fighting creature decks. I think there is... The, the more I'm playing it, the more I think that it's very metagame dependent, which is so odd for a deck that's so... It's not like metagame dependent in the sense of Legacy, where like Burn is just straight-up unplayable in the wrong metagame. Um, but more so in the sense that... Um, I think of the appropriate, or the not appropriate, but the most accurate statement about it. Um, metagame dependent in the sense that uh, your exact burn list is going to vary wildly depending on the metagame, and you have to gauge it right to have the right cards. I'm not sure the deck is high impact enough without the exact correct set of cards, basically. Ugh. I'm on the chump block for a turn plan? And now the question is whether I am better off saying, I hope you don't have a bolt, or whether I'm better off saying, oh no, this is fine. Because I can mutagenic the Swiss Spear and it lives. Yeah, if he has double removal, I'm just dead. I haven't even played against real hate this entire daily either. I mean, rest of the weary aside, uh, I haven't played against like Core Firewalker or Dragon's Claw. Which I think a single Dragon's Claw would have gained my opponent more life. Uh, that game that I lost, or that I won through 26 life or whatever. So... Rampager? Yep. Dead. Yeah, this list is not uh, well-tuned to beating this metagame that I just played against.